The crypto market reversed lower again on Wednesday, after some optimism earlier in the week that the bottom could be behind us. According to analysts, the outlook for crypto is now highly uncertain, with some warning that prices could fall based on historical precedents, and others pointing to risks from the broader economy. At 10.55 UTC on Wednesday morning, Bitcoin BTC, traded at 20 US dollars, 440, down 3.8% for the past 24 hours and down 8.1% for the past 7 days. At the same time, Ethereum, ETH, stood at 1 US dollar, 090, down 6% for the day and 10.3% for the week. Commenting on the situation in the broader financial markets, Muhammad A. L. Air Yan, president of Queen's College at Cambridge University, said on Twitter on Wednesday that markets are signaling concerns about global economic growth. This follows a notable shift in consensus recently among economists. Per a comment by the Bitfinex market analysts shared with Cryptonews.com, turbulence is back in the crypto space as high inflation threatens the valuations of all risk assets, adding, Bitcoin, which proved to be an excellent hedge against monetary inflation is being re-rated given the onset of C. As central banks continue to reverse previously accommodative policies, we can expect more volatility in the Bitcoin price. Commenting more specifically on the Bitcoin price outlook, Chris Berniski, a partner at crypto venture capital firm Placeholder, said that he is expecting a rough July given. The weekly Bitcoin chart closed below the 200-week moving average last week, and it still remains to be seen whether it will close below it at the end of this week. At the time of writing, Bitcoin's 200-week moving average stood at 22 US dollars, 416. Meanwhile, giving an update on his view on the recent bearishness in the Bitcoin market, Arthur Hayes, a crypto essayist and former CEO of crypto exchange BitMEX, said he believes that the BTC crashed to 17 US dollars, 600 last weekend was caused by a forced seller, who, triggered a run on stops. Hayes add. Commenting on the same, Jody Pasquale, CEO of crypto asset manager Bitbull Capital, said earlier this week that he was looking to observe market reactions to new lows before forming an opinion on the near-term direction for crypto. This proved to be a good strategy, as this week's drawdown was per the U.S. Federal Reserve meeting went as expected and Bitcoin fell sharply in the aftermath, De Pasquale said in an emailed comment.